Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So having a look at the global equity markets, we're seeing a little bit of an uptick following the end of, uh, of last week where Janet Yellen gave a speech regarding US interest rates and the likelihood that they would go up uh, towards the end of December. Now we've actually got non-farm payrolls this Friday and there'll be a number of webinars available for you to access directly through the platform uh, where you can join Michael Hewson and Jasper Lawyer uh, and Colin Trakinski as they talk about the impact of a strong or weak number on uh, the likelihood of future interest rates. This week also brings uh, a whole host of, uh, of data from the Eurozone and from uh, China as well. And on Thursday you've got another PMI uh, data coming out but we're expecting quite thin volumes until we get that non farm payroll session out of the way. But looking at the US 30, you can see a bit of a reversal later on in the session there on Friday, uh, pushed right back down below that 21 period SMA. But then we do have a bullish candle uh, appearing today. We have been lower at the top end of the range. The other technicals are relatively neutral and that's currently where we stand with that. So then moving on to the UK 100, a similar picture, but we close a little bit closer to the top end of the range, just pretty much bang on that potential resistance at 60, 73. We're moving a little bit higher this morning. Um, just as we get ready for uh, our economic data later on in today's session. Um, of which so actually the only US housing data due today, but if we actually go on to Tuesday, uh, you can see more housing uh, data, but then uh, German CPI, uh, and that's gonna be at one, um, about one UK time. And uh, then if you fast forward there onto Wednesday, you've got retail sales for Germany, uh, and then you've got uh, gross domestic product, GDP for the UK, balance of payments, and uh, of course crude oil inventories. And because Wednesday, you do have your ADP private payrolls. Uh, and then fast forwarding on to your Thursday there, you can pretty much see that we do have our uh, PMI data there for, for China, finishing up there with some UK, uh, Euro, sorry, sorry, German, Eurozone uh, and UK data, and yet more US unemployment data and then, in fact, the US PMI data as well. So Thursday has a whole host of stuff, um, but then Friday, you've got non-farm payroll. So make sure you have your um, market calendar alert set for that and don't miss out on any of those announcements. So today's housing index, actually, to be honest, that's not really gonna be that impactful on the world's financial markets, but there are a whole host of things on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then, of course, Friday. So then having a look at the Japan 225, almost looks like a descending triangle formation um, developing right here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and draw that on the chart here where you are just hitting the tips of these candles, usually a continuation pattern. So um, this is in a bit of a downtrend right now. So the onus might be on a break towards the bottom end of the pattern rather than a break through the top uh, with 17,500 on the Japan 225 being the level that many traders are looking at, um, looking out for 16,392. So that's currently where we stand with that. Um, Moving on to dollar yen, and the dollar has been gaining a little bit of momentum, but looking at Friday's candle there, again, push right back down again, just like all the other candles we've had in September. I think anything above 121 spot 10, uh, sellers start reappearing in dollar yen. But 121 spot 87 is the potential resistance level, 119 is a potential support, and dollar yen still trading in this tight range at this moment. So then moving on to West Texas crude has had a very volatile last couple of sessions, oscillating around 45 spot 85. Other technicals are flattening out there quite nicely, um, but not a huge amount of activity. It tends to go up or down by 1% and have a volatile day of 4%. Seems to be catching a number of traders unawares, um, but the onus still is on the downside with the fundamentals in China slowdown being uh, a big um, kind of uh, impactful event on West Texas crude. But I think non-farm payrolls, obviously the US is still a big um, consumer of crude oil products. Should non-farm payrolls on Friday come out to be more bullish, we might see some activity on there. So then moving on to gold, um, gold still had its breakout there on Thursday following um, uh, following the kind of negative sentiment that come out. Then you had Janet Yellen's speech that caused her to be a little bit of a rever reversal. I think gold traders do think that a December rate hike is unlikely as the fact that it's not completely uh, slumped to the, to the downside with 11.37 being potential support. In fact, we're not really seeing incredible moves in the dollar yet either. So finishing up there with your dollar and GBP USD. So uh, your dollar has been moving around one spot 11 for a number of sessions. 
Today is not really that different. We had a slight hammer formation there on Friday. Uh, we're towards the bottom end of its range already today. We're still kind of range bound between one spot 11 and one spot 1475. But with one spot 11 being the level that many traders are keeping their eye on. And then finishing up with GBP USD, um, it's had a pretty negative last uh, seven sessions, slumping all the way down from 156 down to 151.85. Uh, other technicals still relatively neutral, but the, the pressure is on um, cable right now as the dollar does begin to build up a little bit of a base following a, a potential interest rate um, commentary from Janet Yellen, but also from the macroeconomic data coming at the US being particularly strong. Uh, we don't have a huge amount of UK data over and above the PMI figures, uh, but this level has been brought, got broken on Friday. <laughs> Excuse me. And it managed to close above the potential support, but will it do it today? That is the question. So we've already kind of covered a whole host of the economic data. Uh, there's still uh, a number of updates of, on the chart forum from our global analyst team. You have uh, Michael Hewson and Jasper Lawyer, and a number of CMC market clients actually publishing to the chart forum. So we're expecting to see uh, some activity on there today and in the next few days. Make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. Lots of really useful information from the global team, not just in the UK, but right across the CMC group from uh, North America and Canada and uh, over in Asia as well and, uh, and Australia and of course the UK. So uh, make sure you don't miss out on your inside track there. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.